Now let's try to browse through the application. We still are getting the error. Okay, so uh, generally when we have get or post methods being used in our application, we again need to define those protocols in the web config file. For that, you can copy this space and paste it in the web config file. Excuse me. Excellent. So here uh, we have the data and uh, this is how we connect to the database using a service. And of course the data is in the form of JSON and just to check that very quickly let's go to the resources add a debug point here so here if you see the raw data that we have is completely in the form of string so that string is what we are converting parsing and then converting to json format so here you have all object types and this is what is displayed here in the table okay and just to cross verify <clears throat> let's go to the particular database and add another row this is the database that we are uh, connected to right now go to the admin control panel and uh, let's see what's the table name Okay, the table name is TBL employees. Let's go to tool and write a new query. What I'm trying to do here is to insert a row and check if it really is connecting to that particular database and fetching the data from there. We have three columns with employee ID, which is number format, and then name, and another name, and then department to maybe and submit. Okay, so let's go to our application. To reload this and we should have an eighth row yeah okay so this is how um, you know we can consume the data Yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put under the comments and I'll get back to you and sub stay tuned and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.